May this song be a prayer for you as we consider all that we have been singing. Please sing along when you get. Welcome to the Clifton Springs United Methodist Church. I'm so glad you joined us for worship today. Happy Pentecost. I don't know if that's a thing to say, but your pastor just said it. Uh, we are celebrating Pentecost today, and our service will be a little different. We have gone out and, and do something different on the fifth Sunday when we have months with five Sundays in them. So in addition to celebrating Pentecost today, this was also supposed to be our Christian education celebration, ending our, our season of, of Sunday school classes. So we've done worship a little differently today to give you a different flavor and to celebrate our Christian education program. I don't really have any announcements today to, to pass on to you. Um, we are doing live worship now in our parking lots when, when weather allows uh, on Sunday mornings, and I hope that you'll be able to join us sometime for those celebrations as well. The story of the Holy Spirit being given to the disciples is powerful and meaningful, especially in times such as these. I was feeling very discouraged this week with the racial tension in Minneapolis and a sense that our leaders do a lot of talking, but extraordinarily little leadership and accomplishment in what they talk about. On top of this, we are celebrating Christian education and worship today. Our inability to gather in person has brought challenges to our programs. I then began to take down the wreaths and flowers from Easter and set our sanctuary for Pentecost, reminded that it's only a backdrop for our service. Christian education is more important now than it has ever been. On Pentecost, the Spirit came and rested on the heads of disciples and empowered them with the ability to evangelize in languages they had never spoke before. Some thought they were drunk and mocked them. God did not give up and the disciples did not give in. Peter speaks today words from the prophet Joel about old men seeing visions of all people having dreams. All people, regardless of age, race, economic status, or even education level are empowered by the Holy Spirit. Christian education is essential to the spiritual growth of the community, and we need to embrace the new languages God is giving us through technology to teach people and introduce people to the foundation and cornerstone of faith. Let's celebrate Christian education today and pray about our role and responsibilities to our own growth 
and to our commitment to help others grow in faith, hope, love, and peace. Let us join together in our opening prayer. Spirit of wind and fire, come to us this day, freeing us from our fears. Lift us up when we have fallen, dust us off, and set us squarely on the path to hope you have set before us. Remind us that we are never far from your presence. Get us ready for the great adventure and opportunities that lie before us. Help us to be good and willing workers for you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. these words from Acts chapter 2 verses 14 through 21. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These people are not drunk as you suppose. It's only nine in the morning. No, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your young men will see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days, and they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. worst day ever. And don't try to convince me that there's something good in every day. Because when you take a closer look, the world is a pretty evil place. Even if some goodness does shine through once in a while, satisfaction and happiness don't last. And it's not true that it's all in the mind and heart 
because true happiness can be attained only if one's surroundings are good. It's not true that good exists. I'm sure you can agree that the reality creates my attitude. It's all beyond my control, and you'll never in a million years hear me say that today was a good day. Today was a very good day, and you'll never in a million years hear me say it's all beyond my control. My attitude creates the reality. I'm sure you can agree that it's not true that good exists, only if one's surroundings are good. True happiness can be attained because it's all in the mind and heart and it's not that true. Satisfaction and happiness don't last. Some goodness does shine through once in a while, even if the world is a pretty evil place. Because when you take a closer look, there's something good in every day. And don't try to convince me that today was the absolute worst day ever. So one of the things we're doing at in-person worship today is everybody is going to get a piece of chalk and what we're gonna do is everyone whoever they came with they could do it individually whatever they'd like to do is gonna make a circle and in the circle they're gonna draw or write what their hope is for our community you can take that as you will it could be Clifton Springs it could be our church um, our faith community you can take it however you'd like um, just your hopes for it. So I made mine here um, to show you. So what mine is, is for, I was thinking of our faith community and our church here at Clifton Springs. And so the first thing I will start with is, with my beautiful artistic ability, this flower here, which I actually drew a seed into the flower. And for me, that's just a way of saying that I hope we can continue to grow um in many different ways and then uh down here if you can't tell once again from my artistic abilities this is happy people and another one of my hopes for our church and faith community is for us to grow in numbers specifically for i think of our sunday school program and our christian education program in general and for us to come together of all ages so that we can talk about our faith and learn about God and our faith and grow in that together and individually. And I also have a heart just for love because I think that that should be a part of any community. Sing a song with David and give blessings to God, Pentecost people. We have received gifts too numerous to count. Now we have a chance to give thanks and joy. Your offering will enable the Clifton Springs United Methodist Church to be Pente a Pentecost presence in this community and the world. To reach out in passionate commitment and bring the wind and fire of the Spirit to people and a world that so desperately need it. Bless 
blessed Holy Spirit. When to the church you came, it was not in your own, but Jesus' name, Jesus Christ is still the same. He sends the Holy Spirit. Wind, wind, blow on me. Wind, wind, set me free. Father sent the blessed Holy Spirit. Set us free to love each other, set us free to live for others, that the world the sun might see, and Jesus' name exalted be. Wind, wind, blow on me, wind, wind, set me free, wind. Father sent the blessed Holy Spirit. Wind, wind, blow on me. Wind, wind, set me free. Wind, wind, my Father sent the blessed Holy Spirit. hearts with mine in prayer, please. For all you have given, for all we have received, we give you thanks. We bring before you our gifts of sustenance and the gifts of our lives. We bring our passion and joy and surprise, our vision and dreams. May they refresh and enliven our church and community as the wind of your spirit did so long ago. As I said, we're celebrating Christian education this Sunday. I want to give a shout out and a thank you to Sharon Ranger for her help in the Christian education program. Sharon's been leading our program for a couple of years now, and we're turning it over to that young lady that was in a couple of our video clips today. Stephanie Fellows is, is going to take over for Sharon and leading our Christian education program. I don't know if you realized it or not, but the conversation between Stephanie and her mom uh, was a single poem. It's a poem that when you read it through, as Stephanie did, talks about how bad a day can be. But if you read that poem backwards, uh, from the last word back to the first, it gives a very different impression of how your day can go. It reminds me of the, how the Holy Spirit works in and through us and how important our perspective is. And as I said in our opening video, how important it is that we have Christian education so that we can build on the f foundation of Scripture and on the cornerstone of Jesus Christ. I hope you see these things in the things that were part of our worship service this day. As we move into a, a time of, of prayer for the things happening in our community, uh, a few things that I, I want you to be aware of and to keep on your heart, uh, certainly... Hold Stephanie and our Christian education program in prayer as we move forward in this new way of doing things. How are we going to incorporate technology as part of Christian education? What can we do as a Christian education team and as a worship team and other teams with, that are a part of the church to help you embrace this new way of being a part of church and being the kingdom of God? Uh, we need your feedback in that, what you're comfortable with, what you're willing to to learn and, and grow to do. Um, we're exploring those things now as we also move towards the possibility of someday being able to worship together in person in the sanctuary. Uh, this, the regulations from the state of New York allow now 10 people to be in the sanctuary. And that's not enough for us to come back and worship here uh, in person. So that's why we're going to continue as weather allows outside 
it might mean that we need to adjust our times. Uh, as it gets hot or as it rains, maybe we'll find ourselves needing to gather on a Sunday afternoon or a Saturday evening or something different um, so that we can be in person and still <laughs> not faint because of the heat and all that's going on. Uh, Mary Lou Muller is going to have hip surgery on Monday. Please keep Mary Lou in your prayers. I'm also still thinking of, of Tammy who had a, a double mastectomy this week and of Mar and of Betty who uh, had has fallen and gotten injured and is recovering. Keep these people in your prayers as we join together. Gracious Lord, we are thankful for the gift of the Holy Spirit that has come to all of your servants. We look for fires to be lit underneath us and, and in our hearts to move us, not just to say things or to think about things, but move us into action in the, this community where you have placed us to be. Let our actions reflect the love that we know. Just as your disciples so long ago were enabled to speak in different languages, let us find the languages of being and doing that we need so that we are revealed as your people and so your love is revealed through us. It takes a lot of courage to step out and do things that are new to us. So give us that kind of courage to go about doing and being we so need you as part of our lives. We need you as a, a part of our faith journey. And it's hard to embrace new things in that place. So help us have a little bit of the old that we are comfortable with, but stretch us into being your people in new ways and in new places. We ask you to be with those who are going to have surgery this week, to be with those who are being tested for the COVID-19 virus. We ask you to help us get comfortable in new places, to get comfortable with new things that are happening around us. We ask you to be with us as we fight off the fear that we have. Grant us your guidance and love. Help us to truly be Pentecost people and be excited about the new things that you are doing in, around, and through us. This is how I've styled my prayer for this day for our continuing education program. These are the things that are on my mind and in my heart this day as we gather for worship. But I know that the people that are hearing and watching this have different things on their mind. So in this time of quietness, hear what is on their hearts. And if they don't have anything to say, speak their, to their hearts so they know that you are present with them in the things that they face this week. Let us join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And 
and I know He watches me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. For His eyes on the sparrow, and I know He watches me. Let not your heart be troubled. His tender word I hear, and resting on His goodness, I lose my doubts and fears. Oh, by the path He leads, but one step I may see. is our benediction today. Feel the power of the Holy Spirit flooding your life. Feel the joy. Celebrate the freedom and proclaim God's love for all creation. Be the Church of Pentecost. Amen. on the horizon